Endowed with reason, humanity is the pinnacle of nature. Because of this priceless gift, not only can we comprehend the information we receive from the world around us, we're able to analyze it and discover even those truths that nature has tried to conceal. Today, we are close to unraveling the greatest mystery in the world now that we have decoded the language of cells. A very smart man was interested by how beautifully all biological systems work, including the human body. And as a mathematician and a physicist, he doubted that this precision was controlled entirely by the nervous system and the various hormones and other substances that are secreted into the blood. This man was Professor Nikolai Devyatkov, our colleague here in Russia. He theorized that cells communicate by means of electromagnetic signals. But just imagine all the other sources of radiation. Radio signals, the sun. If that was how cells communicated, we would be in serious trouble every time the sun hiccuped. The interference would be so strong that our cells simply would not be able to communicate along those channels. Then another theory was raised. Perhaps cells communicate using a totally unique system, and nature wisely invented a type of signal for these communications that is unknown outside the human body, a signal that is protected from all interference. That theory turned out to be right on target. It has already been proven that the cell membrane generates a particular extremely high frequency range. We've discovered that most diseases are caused by interrupted information exchange between organs. This disturbance of information exchange is the first indication of disease. When the normal transfer of information is interrupted, that creates chaos and disease. Based on this theory, it becomes obvious that in order to return the body to a state of harmony and health, one must restore order to the chaos. That is where extremely high frequency EHF radiation can be of assistance in medicine. Welcome to Tomsk in the Spinner facility. Here at Spinner, we have been developing and manufacturing medical equipment for 15 years. Today, we are more excited about our plans than ever. Spinner has earned a reputation outside of Tomsk and as far away as Europe and the United States. Last year, the company reached an entirely new level when it certified its products under the European Union Medical Devices Directive. What does Spinner manufacture? EHF generating devices for preventing and treating a number of different types of diseases. This is the very type of radiation that the human body cells use to communicate. Spinner's devices are designed to restore the body's lost signals and gradually stabilize all of its processes. When the chaos is replaced by normal interaction between systems, the disease steadily goes into remission. Our devices are based on developments that were unique at the time. These developments came out of defense research and led to the technical advances that made it possible to find non-military applications. The developments involved using weak electromagnetic fields to prevent and treat disease. According to documentation reviewed and approved by the EuroCAT Institute for Certification and Testing, GMBH, we can treat approximately 75 or 76 diseases that affect humans. Neurology, vascular diseases, infectious diseases, our devices can be used in a wide range of areas. But what is especially promising is that EHF therapy can be combined with pharmacological treatment. EHF devices increase the effectiveness of medication, making it possible to reduce dosages. This is extremely valuable in those cases where a patient is unable to tolerate high enough doses of a medication for effective treatment. Specialists at the country's leading hospitals and preventative medicine centers have already evaluated and expressed an interest in Spinner's devices.
We have reached the point where doctors are prescribing the use of our devices, and each of our offices has a consulting physician on hand to help people learn to use them. One of Spiner's partners in Tomsk is the Institute of Psychological Health, which applies the detoxifying effects of the Semtec apparatuses to treat alcoholism and drug and tobacco addiction. Using the Stella II microwave resonance therapy apparatuses gives us the ability to quickly relieve symptoms of withdrawal and pain syndrome, stabilize sleep patterns, relieve symptoms of depression, and achieve extended quality remission for patients addicted to alcohol and drugs. Semtech devices are not limited to treating addiction. Our key strategic partner in Tomsk is the Institute of Resort Medicine and Physical Therapy. We have worked together since 1994. The Institute develops training materials that are used around the country. I'm talking about training materials that have been approved by federal public health authorities. The Institute of Resort Medicine and Physical Therapy is the only institute east of the Urals that studies natural healing properties and develops non-pharmacological treatment methods. All of the health resorts in Russia and the Far East owe their existence to the Institute in Tomsk, which has been studying the applications of information wave technologies for many years. We have been doing research in this area for a long time and working productively with Alexander Kozhamakin. One of the properties of his company's devices is that they give you a precise reading on what frequency you should use for each person and how that frequency can affect the organ in question. Bioactive points are closely tied to specific organs, so we can narrowly target our signals. Today, EHF therapy is used successfully to treat patients in every department of the Institute of Resort Medicine and Physical Therapy. The treatment was made possible by Spinar, which provided the Institute with several Stella II devices. The Stella II apparatus is unique because it can focus on cells in various organs and systems. The device has a unique frequency generator that uses a feedback system to tune itself to a specific organ, increasing the function of that organ and stabilizing it. Another apparatus, the Semtec BF, was developed for professional use in clinics and health spas. It can emit a wide range of frequencies, modifying the main signal. Spinner also manufactures a modified version of the BF for home use under physician's direction. There are two models of the home version. The first model, which is compact, is essentially a power adapter that sends a special sequence of power impulses to the EHF generator, which is connected to the power adapter by a standard USB cable. The part of the device that actually affects the body is the generator, which is made up of a unique proprietary semiconductor integrated circuit developed by Spinner. With just two buttons, the device is fairly simple and easy to use. One button turns the device on, and the other selects the program. We connect the emitter and push this button to turn it on. Then we choose Mode 2. Now we hit Start. The apparatus makes a pleasant chirping sound. Now you can work over a zone based on medical indications, work on acupuncture points, or, as most people choose to do, work on bioactive zones. When the EHF waves are emitted, the body cells are restored, hemoglobin is activated, and damaged tissue is supplied with oxygen. The body's lymphocyte producers begin to work more actively, and damaged tissues are regenerated. This makes it possible to treat a disease effectively while reducing medication dosages, which is extremely important for weak patients and patients with intolerance to certain medications. The more complex device looks like this. It has an additional treatment program that modifies the EHF signals. This is a more complex method developed by German scientists, which we have manufactured as a combination of two technologies. Our contribution was to combine low-frequency signals. This apparatus is certified under European Union standards. It has 11 operation modes and is intended for use by physicians.
All of the apparatuses are assembled here at Spinor, which developed the Semtech technology. We employ around 20 people. Most of them are young. The average age of our employees is 30. All of the Spinor specialists have advanced degrees, but they receive further training here on the job, where they continue to learn and gain new skills. This is the Corporate Brain Center. Spinor is where it develops and designs entirely unique new devices. We have already received recognition at four international trade shows. We have gold and silver medals for our devices, and something I'm extremely proud of, we have an intellectual development diploma from the Russian Patent Office. But we aren't stopping here. We are continuing to develop new ideas and make long-term plans. We have exciting plans for our technologies to be used around the world. We have already received an offer from a very large company. We have an international patent and a trademark that is protected in Russia and the European Union.